What's going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here. And in today's video, we're gonna be setting up a Daedalus wallet so we can stake our Cardano. Now, if you missed my prior video to this video, I'll leave it linked down in the description and you're gonna go ahead, check that out. You can then learn everything you need to know about Cardano staking. And this will include how to pick a stake pool, the fees associated with staking and all that good stuff. So if you don't know everything, I would highly suggest checking out this video linked down in the description. But moving along, Keep in mind also that Daedalus is a desktop based client. So you're going to need a desktop computer with pretty much eight gigs of RAM at least to run Daedalus. If you don't have that, I would recommend using your Roy. I have a video which I'll also leave linked down in the description on how to do that. You can use mobile, web based client or whatever else you want for your Roy. It's a bit lighter of a wallet, but let's look at Daedalus. So you're going to go ahead to this page link down in the description dailyswallet.io slash download find your operating system click the download button if you want to verify the signature and the download you can do that but click download once that download is complete you're going to run the setup file and after you have the setup file you're going to be prompted with this screen now we're not going to be able to delegate yet because you have to wait quite some time for Daedalus to basically sync with the Cardano blockchain because what this is on your computer is a Cardano node, essentially. So you're going to be running your own Cardano node by having a Daedalus wallet on your computer, which is pretty darn cool. But we're going to first start off by creating a wallet. If you have a hardware wallet, a ledger or a treasure, go ahead, download the Cardano app on that, and then pair it with your hardware device and just follow the steps here. And then resume uh, the video or come back to the video when we transfer funds from an exchange to the wallet if you don't know how to do that. So we're going to create a normal wallet. We're not going to use a hardware wallet. I do have a hardware wallet and I recommend you use one. There's links down in the description if you want to pick one up, but we're going to go ahead, enter a name. We'll just do test and then enter a password. After you've entered a password, click create, then confirm after you've read this screen, we're going to be going to a screen where we write down our key phrase. Never share this key phrase with anyone. Always keep this key phrase off of the internet, off of access from any device with internet, and preferably just on a piece of paper stored away from your computer. Now, click continue once you've read the screen and you've confirmed that no one can see your screen. I am not gonna be using this wallet, so I'm showing you guys my phrase, but never show anyone this phrase. Write it down. Once you have it written down, click next so we can confirm that we have it written down connectly, correctly. All right, now we're going to go ahead, enter those 24 words, and then we're going to confirm that and come back to the video. After you have written your words in, you're going to check these two boxes. Make sure you read this page just to confirm that you have the right recovery phrase and that you know what you're doing. Click confirm and you're going to be in your wallet. Now, this is probably not going to be synced with the blockchain yet, so we can't delegate yet. So just wait a minute. Come back when this says 100% and then we can go ahead and start our delegation. Now this will take quite a while for this to sync up, but if you want to transfer funds into this account, I would probably wait till it's fully synced, but you can go over to the address section or the receive section, find one of these addresses and copy it to your clipboard, then head over to Binance or whatever exchange you are using, find the wallet tab in there and go to the ADA section wherever your ADA is being held in the wallet. Then after you find the ADA section, which I'm gonna find on Binance here by searching, you can find it and then choose the action that is to withdraw your ADA. Now you're gonna paste the address we just copied and then you're gonna be able to go back to your wallet, make sure it is ending in the last four characters, 634V, starts with the same ADDR1, go back, check ADDR1, 634V. So we're good to go there. Then you're going to be able to enter the amount and withdraw it to your wallet. It's going to take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute to show up in your wallet in the summary tab or in the transactions tab over here. And this is my test wallet um, for the test net data. My other wallet wasn't loading or syncing with the blockchain yet, this one. So we're just going to go ahead with the tutorial and show you exactly what this tab looks like over on this wallet over here. So you're going to come to this tab here and you're going to see you can delegate to pools. You can even see rewards, addresses, stuff like that. But you're going to go to stake pools and find this pool you want to stake with. We're going to stake with Jack today, my pool. You can click on delegate to this pool. 
press continue, select the wallet you want to stake with, press continue again, and then you are going to confirm it essentially. So we're going to type in Jack, check, yep, that's what I'm going to go with. And then there's going to be a small fee for staking with this pool. We're going to enter a spending password and then press confirm. All right, and then after that, you're done. You have delegated your wallet successfully, and the rewards coming in will be shown here. It's gonna take place in nine days, 20 hours, and 34 minutes. That's when our changes will take effect because it's always two epics behind, essentially. Now we're gonna close that, and you're gonna see on our delegation center, we're delegating to Jack, and we're good to go. We are good to go. Everything is dandy, and you can now chill, sit back, and earn that passive ADA. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please consider staking with Stakepool Jack. And also, have a great freaking day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.